Alrighty guys, back with a quick little tour review of this 2005 Pontiac Vibe. I don't know too much about these, but I know they came out in 2003 and they ride on the same platform as the Toyota Matrix. That's why they're, they you see them all over the place and why they're still running. But I've always had a softish spot for these cars, but as you can see, it kind of looks like an Aztec or I don't know, it just looks different. So here it is. We have hubcaps on this one. This They are 16 inch. They ride on Goodyear Eagle tires. It is a nice silver color. Now coming up to the front. You have halogen headlights with your halogen fog lights. And I always thought the uh, the vibe looked better than the Toyota version. You have your rails up there. Come in the interior. You have a cloth interior with a softer insert. Come into this one. You have floor mats now under here. Do you leave their Pontiac? Yeah, their vibe. There's this is really dirty and abused, but gas can't pop down here. Coming over here to the door panels, you have a soft, or it's a hard touch up here, and then you have a soft padded in here, and then your window switches. That might not work or something, I don't know. Um, let's see, over here, your mirror control is up here. So, um, dashboard is a hard touch. Um, gauge is over here. Here's your Pontiac wheel. Literally, this is a Toyota wheel just with a Pontiac airbag on it. Um, I believe this is a five-speed automatic. Could be a four. This one was not a smoker, surprisingly. But over here, you have your... Climate controls, what should I do? Clunk, I don't care. Pontiac radio, climate controls, and you have a household outlet, which is different for the time. Over here, you have your glove box with your Pontiac vibe handbook. E brake right here, which doesn't work. Storage right here. And over here's your wiper controls, your mirror, and then there are lights under here. Just push those. Headliner is a cheap, really cheap material. Um, again, these cars aren't too bad, but they're just kind of, I don't know what to compare them with, but for today's sake, but over here, some storage over here is your headlights and then your fog lights on and off. Um, let's see what else. You have your glass pop right here, your tire pressure monitor. That's about it. This does have a 2.4 liter four cylinder. This one only has 100,000 miles on it, so yeah, it wasn't driven too much. Now coming back here, we'll move that over there. Those are the headrests in that, but um, yeah. Come back here. You have really good leg room, foot room. Everything is really, really nice. Um, I like it. Back here, it is all hard touch, so it's not GM Green. It's Toyota plastic. Believe it or not, I mean they share a lot of things. You have your door switch, window switch right here. Um, right here is a cigarette or no cup holder. There you go. Then the headrest in there, like I said. And then over here, if you want to hold the seat, we just pull this right here. Every time I touch the seats, like stuff comes out of it. Ew. I'm gonna get out. Whatever. Ooh, headliner. Holy dirt. But yeah, I want to get out of this dirty vibe. We'll go to the rear. Apparently the glass pops. I never knew that about these. There you go. The struts work great. But um, yeah, that was that's cool. I like that feature. Here's the trunk. You have a vibe floor mat. And then uh, yeah, under here, spare tire, some storage. And there you go. So there you go, guys. As usual, thank you for watching and we'll talk to you all later.